Hi, I'm Sukadeva and I'm happy to be here with you. People call me Sukababa or Sukavani, it doesn't matter. I, my name is my name, all right? Um, I have a message that I wish to share with you today. Please listen and be blessed. Hare Krishna. Namaste. Don't compare yourself to others. Why? Your life journey is different from their life journey. What you are going to experience in your life is not the same as what they will experience. They may look happy and you may look sad. does not mean that your life is worthless. Don't compare yourself to others. You see, this is one of the mistakes a lot of us as human beings do. And unfortunately, the reason why we make this mistake is because we don't understand what our life is for. What is the essence of our existence? Why are we really here? We don't understand that. But I'm not going to go into so much philosophy. You know, for you right now, I'm not going to go into too so much philosophy. I'm just going to go straight to the point. Are you suffering and you don't know why you're suffering? Are you struggling so hard to save your money, but you're not able to save your money? Are you in a relationship, but you don't know? There's always this anger. There's always this quarrel. There's this mental stress, this mental anxiety that you're passing through. Are you a person that is very difficult for you to control your anger? Like every little minute, you want to bust that. Like, you want to explode and you don't know why. Are you a person that you feel very frustrated and depressed inside and you don't know why? Well, this is a secret that you should understand right now. A lot of us are suffering from curses. Yes, you had it rightly. Curse. A lot of us are suffering from curse. Curse from our ancestors. Runas. Runa. Runa. Curse and debt. A lot of us, we owe debt to our ancestors that we are not fulfilling. And because we owe this debt to our ancestors that we are not fulfilling, our life is miserable. Our relationship is miserable. We keep so many people are jumping, so many people right now, eh? they are jumping into one relationship to another relationship. So many people right now, they have children with different people and they don't understand what is happening in their life. They, they keep asking themselves, why is my life like this? But they don't understand what is really happening because there is a curse. Yes, my dear sisters, my dear brother, so long as you are, you are hearing the sound of my voice, there is a curse. And because there is this curse, people's life is not balanced. See, understand, understand attentively. Please understand what I'm trying to explain to you right here. What I'm trying to explain to you right here is that when we don't give to our ancestors what we are supposed to give to them, they make our life miserable. You may even, you may have a house, but you will not be peaceful in the house. You may have, you, relationship with brothers and sisters will break. You don't understand what is happening. Because there's a curse, a pitru runa, a pitru uh, a sharpa. So try to rectify this pitru sharpa by offering water to your ancestors. Now what creates pitru sharpa? Thoughts, desire. You see, when there are certain desires that you have that is not being fulfilled, it is being deposited in the atmosphere. And that desire, when someone dies with unfulfilled desire, it goes directly to a person that is connected to them. And because it goes directly to a person that is connected with them, the, the, that person becomes tormented by that desire. You, see, you wonder why a lot of people die by a car accident? You think it is normal? Oh, people say like, oh, they died accidentally. You, you wonder why people die by drowning? You think it is normal? You wonder why people dr die by burning themselves and you think, you think that is normal? Hell no, these are not normal activities. So I keep saying to everyone, please be careful. Be careful, especially during the Amavasya period. That is when the curse of the ancestors, it becomes more, it becomes more intensified. Rectify your curse so that your life can become better. I'm not going to speak too much. See you next time. Hare Krishna. Bye. Did you learn something today? I hope you did. And I hope you take the messages seriously. God bless you. Hare Krishna. Bye-bye. See you next time. You can follow me. Follow me, huh? Follow me. Uh huh. Follow me. God bless you. Bye. Namaste. <laughs>